Hello YouTube and welcome back to more Tales of Tribute. Today we're playing against I Be Your Biscuit. <laughs> okay. Um Hmm. I don't know. How should we pick? I'm really excited for the new deck to come out. I haven't looked at any information on it. But who knows? Maybe it'll be like uh combo six million power this time. Who knows? Keep it old school. I feel like Red Eagle King of the Reach is just like an honorary OG deck. You know, it's just so good. Everybody loves it. And we'll take a very nice power card on turn one. So it looks like we're going to attempt to go red here. Normally I would get rid of this red power coin, but we're going to keep it. Um, They might just two coin. They're going to shred, which is cool. They can, oh, big mistake. They make him mistakey. Uh, they didn't two coin either, so it's literally impossible for them to get this. So I don't, I'm not too concerned about it. They can go for imprisonment if they want. It is mathematically impossible for them to get that. We got the card that we wanted to get rid of. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. Uh, what's more beautiful though? Is the fact that we're gonna go for that because that's just too strong to leave on the table <laughs> and we're probably gonna two coin but we'll just do that see what else is out there let's get some economy up bought that in case if you know who knows maybe another one pops up Sometimes those can chain together into some silly little combos, so. You never know. I think we're going to do that. I could just go Shield Bear, which would be super toxic, or we just snag that. Because the draw support is crazy. Oh my gosh, look at all the contract agents on the board. And our friend is just going to have to two coin here. Um, and we'll just two coin and buy five power or four power, right? Or two power into five power. There we go. Nice little combo. They're getting their economy up. Uh, which is fun. Could actually care less about that. Or couldn't care less, I guess, is the saying, right? Um, I mean, we can shred. We can get three power. We could also just go shield bear and just be super toxic. I think we go shield bear. What is this game? What is this game? They have no money to afford anything. They can't even knock out our shield bear. I think I'm just going to sell my purple cards. Nope. I'm going to brick them. I don't want to give them the ability to just get stuff easily. That was smart. They looked at their cards, saw they were going to combo, knew they were going to draw. Um, I don't want to open the board for them. I don't have any money to afford anything if I do open the board, so we're just going to leave it like that. And we'll cycle through this and then sell this next turn, and we should win. In fact, we'll probably sell this red card too this turn. Who needs cards? 
So we will sacrifice that card, but then we will also just repurchase it and then we'll end our turn. And then this turn, we'll just sell squawking and go over. All we've added to our deck is three cards. We're, we're about to win the game with 13 cards. And we'll just take up some more power. And we'll end our turn 44 to 18. And that should do it, guys. That should send us back to Rubidite. GG, I be your biscuit. Five minutes and 58 seconds, plus 310. And we are back up in Rubidite, ladies and gentlemen. We have unlocked the leaderboard once again this season. So good game, 44 to 24, pretty quick. Um, but yeah, not too bad, guys. Not too bad. That game was very interesting. We just kept our deck very small, kept the cards very simple. Um, just bought some very, I don't know, just very powerful red cards really just early on and just really didn't buy anything to junk up our deck there. So overall, good game. If you guys are enjoying these Tales of Tribute videos, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you in the next one.